looks pretty hot in a swimsuit. Give it up for triple threat, Drake Bell. He's been getting high marks from the judges. Let's see how Drake prepared to stay on top. Competition is getting really intense, and it's only week four. This week is somersaults. You did a front one and a half on seven and a half, right? Yep. If we take it up to ten, I think the judges will be impressed. How many more feet is that? It's one Kareem. I think that's doable. This week, I'm definitely working on establishing myself as a front runner. At this point, I'd have to say Brandy and Rory are probably my biggest competition. Brandy's doing an inward one and a half. Whatever Rory does is impressive as it is this week. There's no dive off. And you pretty much have to just be perfect. And Drake, performing excellence. I'd like to see Rory go head first off the 10 meters. Last week I got a 10. This week I definitely plan on getting a 10. I've really become competitive and I, I really want to win this. Drake, you feeling it? Feeling good? Yeah? Yeah. So look, you've had some serious swagger during this whole thing. Do you think that you're, uh, you think you're maybe one of the best or the best diver out here? Uh, did you just see Rory? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Um, no, you know, I think everybody's progressing really well. Go do your thing. Good luck, all right? All right. Greg Bell, everybody. You can do it. No. Are you happy you did? Uh, now I am, yeah. I don't know after seeing the replay, but... Uh... Okay, let's see if the risk you took paid off. All right, David, what do you have to say to what you just saw here? Well, Drake, you went up to 10 meter, and right before you took off, you stood up there like a champ, like you own the whole entire competition up there. And that is awesome. Before you took off, I was expecting something huge, like you're gonna jump, hit that position and go straight in the water with a ripped entry. What I mean by ripped entry is, when you're going into the water, your hands are flat. And so once you go in, you're breaking the surface with your hand, so it sucks all the water in, and that's why it's called a rip. But unfortunately, I did not see that. And that's why tonight, you're getting a six and a half. A six and a half. Okay, you took a risk. Steve? First up, congratulations. First time doing a one and a half off a 10 meter platform. That's guts. The minute you took off, you could tell you were in more trouble than the early settlers. You threw down just a little too hard and it got way out of control. And that's the only reason we're scoring you low. So tonight, a six. Cool. A six. Okay, so let's recap. David gave you a score of six and a half. Steve gave you a score of six. So you are safe by a quarter of a point with an average score of 6.25. I see you shaking your head. I know you're disappointed, but you've lived to dive another day. Head on over to the dive lounge. Remember, there is no dive off tonight, so the star with the lowest score will be sent home automatically. Right now, let's check in with Joey, who's with Drake. Now, why do you think a dive that was so impressive with such a high difficulty level got such low scores? Because I did a terrible job at it. <laughs> I, I've got the courage. I want to execute the dives properly, you know? I mean... Look, look, you're safe, so next week we'll see how it ends up, all right? Thanks, all right, man. you bet. Thank you. Carissa. Catherine is 